Trying to lower the chair. Hey, how you doing? Not ready yet? Yeah, I'm ready. We can go. Patriot training camp to Michael Hasty kind of was the talk of the town. What did you see from him? Is he ready to step on the field in case he's called upon? Uh, yeah, I think he is. Uh, he did a lot a lot of things uh, coming in as a rookie and uh, you know he missed spring so to see the things he you know to see the things he did at practice it was I mean it was it was nice to see from a rookie. Jaquaski, you had to uh, to guard Jordan Reed quite a few times at camp. He seemed like the one guy that actually beat you. Um, what was it like to see him do that to other people? Uh, I mean just just knowing uh playing him in twenty seventeen, uh uh, I, you know, I, I got the best of him, and when he first got here, I had to remind him, and uh, it's it's good to see him out there uh, doing his thing. But I, I know for sure that the fact that he was beating me like that, I just knew. Well, I just know like there's it's nobody else in the league as as safety that can play him. Ozzy, how, how would you describe the the mood in the defensive meeting room just based on um, you know the injuries, losing Nick and Solomon, and potentially D Ford for a little bit now? Uh, it was a good meet, you know. Uh, we for for us, I mean, injuries are a part of the game, and you know we had a lot of injuries last year too as well. So I mean, for us, it's like it's always, you know, for us, we have we have guys who are ready to step in, who actually are, are how we see it, everybody is a starter on the team. So once one guy, guy go down, uh, the next guy had to be ready. But of course, you know, it's hard to replace somebody like. Uh, like uh, Nick Bosa and Sally, you know. So I mean, they're they're huge. They're hu they're a huge part of the defense, and uh, I think the guys will be ready to step up. Jokowski, one of the guys that will step up for D Ford and Nick Bosa is Kerry Hyder. What have you seen from him on the defensive line? Uh, he's a baller to me. He's he's been balling since he came in. Uh, I didn't know too much about him, but. Uh, he for sure uh, got my attention since he since he been here. Kwasi, will, will you take advantage of anything at the Greenbrier? Uh, apparently, it has a lot of different activities to offer. Uh, anything on your schedule? Uh, not really. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be chilling, watching film. Uh, you know, just taking it easy. I don't really do too much. I I just like chilling. Hey, Jaquazi, Dennis Jones seems like he has a big arm and can move a little bit. And they also have Darius Slayton, who's a big play threat in Golden Tate. So can you just talk about the Giants' offense as a whole and what you guys are trying to slow down this week? Uh, to be honest, you know, we got to – we treat them like as if they're, you know, as if they're us. Like, you know, they they can be just as good as us with, you know, with Daniel Jones and, you know, with uh, Ingram. Uh, so for us, you know, we got we to gotta try to come out and stop the run first and foremost. Uh, you see a lot of, I mean, Golden Tate is Golden Tate. He's like a running back at the slot receiver. So you you know you got to bring it past when when you got to come when you when you got to tackle him. Uh, Ingram, he's he's just as good as a receiver. So for him, like he he can be a matchup problem. And Daniel Jones, just looking at just looking at film on him. I mean, he's a pretty good quarterback. You know, uh, I think the media kind of hard on him, but I think he's actually a good QB. And uh, we got to you know take this. Take this game just as serious as every game.